What's going on everyone? My name is Anthony Kayatso. If you don't already know me, I go to the University of Queensland studying my master's in physiotherapy and I'm also one of the social media ambassadors for Austrek. So today I'm going to be talking to you about uh, university involvement opportunities. So like clubs, societies, sports and things you can get involved with at UQ. So to start off each semester or each term on, I think it's the Wednesday, they have a clubs and societies day. You go play some sports? Woo. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So there's over 220 clubs and societies on campus. And of those 220, 116 are actual clubs. So uh, I am a part of a couple clubs on campus. So I'm just going to talk about those really quick. Um, I'm part of SPOT, which is the Speech Pathology, Occupational Therapy, and Physiotherapy Students Association. So this is just a combination of all of the master level um, rehabilitation students coming together and they host different things. So they have like parties, they have like coffee nights, they have uh, like movie nights. And I've only gone to a couple of the events, but the ones that I did go to were actually a lot of fun. I'm also a part of the QPSA, which is the Queensland uh, Physiotherapy Students Association. So they actually have a ball coming. Where is it? The end of the month in September so on the 28th I think I might try to do a takeover on that day so it's a, a physio ball when everyone dresses up in like formal formal attire and you go out and you just have a good time after all of your midterms and exams are finished uh, I'm also part of UNIT so it's the university network for investing and trading so I mean that's a little bit different than physiotherapy in the rehabilitation world but I'm trying to promote my own personal financial literacy and just trying to get into day trading a little bit. Um, so I joined that and we actually had a coffee meetup last Monday that went really well. I met some like like-minded people and uh, built my network up a little bit so we can actually talk about day trading stocks, um, what website they use, what broker they use and just all of those financial terms that I'm very, very new to. And so that was actually cool. I actually really did uh, like that meeting last last week. Um, if you want a little bit more fun, there is the Quest uh, Club. So that's the Queensland uh, Exchange Student Society. So this is where you meet people from all over the world that are here for either one term or a full year or maybe two years, like in my case. And um, they do a lot of like parties. They have, uh, I think they have beer. They have a pub night every Wednesday. And then they have different events. So they have like Byron Bay, they have uh, going out west to Perth, they have going out east, they have a canoe trip. They have just a whole bunch of um, good experiences if you wanna go and like meet other exchange students from across the world. So I haven't done a lot of those to be completely honest, but uh, that was one of the clubs that I was told to by uh, local Australians that is the best like social club to join on UQ's campus. Uh, and then there's another one that I'm also involved with is called the Entrepreneurship and Innovation Society. So they host um, different events like TED Talks. Uh, they had a TED Talk, I think it was two days ago that I actually didn't go to. I was going to a friend's um, footy game, but um, they have like TED Talks. They have different speakers come in. They actually have a six week program that you can join. And then if you do well in that program for entrepreneurship, you can uh, apply to a startup academy. So with the Startup Academy, it would be, I think it's four or five weeks. And at the end of it, you can present your actual idea to a panel. If they choose you, they give you $20,000 and they'll give you a full month uh, scholarship to either Tel Aviv, China, San Francisco, or one other place. I can't think of it off the top of my head. But it's really cool. So I applied for the entrepreneurship um, six week program. So I find out on next uh, September 4th, I think, 4th or 6th. So hopefully I get into that and then I can actually kind of go forward with a, a little bit of an idea I had to kind of do something on the side. Um, with all of these clubs, um, they don't actually take up a lot of your time. So it's actually pretty cool. You can join like almost any club that you like on campus and you can kind of pick and choose what you can join and the clubs are very cheap. So I think the most expensive one I had was the entrepreneurship club was I think $5 
and the other ones were like two and three dollars to join so uh, so from a money perspective they're pretty cheap but it's the events that will cost you money. So if you, I think with Quest, if you wanted to go to Byron Bay, it was like $250 for the weekend, but that's like transportation there, food, accommodation, uh, drinks, uh, pretty much almost everything is included. So, I mean, at the end of the day, if you don't want to plan things and then just have everything done for you, it's kind of nice, but I'm a little bit past that and I don't mind kind of planning it. I kind of like planning things, but that's just my own uh, kind of take on it. Um, Another thing that isn't included in your tuition is like a gym membership. So if you wanted to do like drop in basketball or you wanted to go play volleyball or I don't know, like street hockey or whatever it is at the gym, I was $5 for a drop in. So I literally just did drop in basketball last Saturday with a couple people from uh, the physio program and it was just $5, uh, pretty cheap. And then it was two hours of pretty high intense basketball, a little out of shape, but that's all right. Um, no, it was good. It was good. Uh, so if you actually want to, uh, join a club, there is club teams available as well. So they have like a whole big list of, um, sports teams you can join. So there's like beach volleyball, there's sailing, there's wakeboarding, there's soccer, uh, literally pretty much every sport that you could possibly imagine minus ice hockey. Um, and I think it's about $180 for the year. Or for for the semester, sorry, and you get about ten games out of it, so it's actually a pretty fair price. It's not that bad, including like rentals and everything. So one hundred and eighty is included in that cost. So it's actually it's actually pretty good. The only thing is that uh, a lot of the games are either going to be played on Sunday late or during the week, and you really want to play in a ten p.m. to eleven p.m. soccer game when I have to wake up at eight a.m. the next day. It's not the best. But uh, if you can get those Sunday games, it's actually pretty good. And uh, the competition is actually fairly high as well. So there is different like tiers that you can join. But if you do join the super competitive, if you're a competitive person, just know that you are getting into like a higher level and it is it is good. Um, yeah, so there's uh, there is one more thing that I wanted to talk about is that if you wanted to, you can actually start your own. Uh, club and society up so I think you need 35 to 40 signatures on a paper of people that will actually say that they will join your club as well as you will receive I believe it as a $1,000 um, I don't want to say scholarship but $1,000 $1,000 is given to you from the university in order to provide events for your club so I'm talking with a bunch of people from the physio program right now, seeing if we want to set up a spike ball club next year. So we'll see how much work you have to put into that. But I think that would actually be kind of cool because spike ball isn't really big in Australia and it would probably be the first of its kind. So I think it would be kind of fun. So um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. So if you want to know anything else about clubs and societies, I'll put a link right here. So you can go check it out. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different ones. There's international clubs, there's food clubs, there's meditation, yoga, there's there's pretty much something for everyone. So I think that it's it's a lot of fun and I would definitely recommend it to anyone that would be studying at UQ is definitely join uh, one of their clubs, at least one. All right, so that's everything I have to say about clubs and societies. Um, yeah, that's it. Take care, bye.